if you can hear the rain. Um, I took too long to set up filming, and this is what we're dealing with today. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm the writer on wheels. I'm a disabled fantasy author and a huge nerd, which is actually what I want to talk about today. And that is how Dungeons and Dragons and other tabletop RPGs can actually help you with your writing. I want to start out before we even talk about writing by going over the basic rules of Dungeons and Dragons. So we have a, a base. So we're all on the same page. So Dungeons and Dragons is a cooperative game with two plus people. There's one person who is the dungeon master, who is in charge is a strong word, but in charge, and there's the rest of the players. Now each of the players is in charge of one character that they create and they write the backstory for, and they're essentially acting as that character. And the dungeon master, the game master, the DM or GM, is in charge of facilitating the storytelling. And they set up the world, and the other players are tasked with interacting with it. I'll give you an example. We'll do this very stereotypically. You're in a tavern. You're sitting there, you're having drinks, you're doing whatever. And then some guy walks in, passes out, and dies. What do you do? That is basically where the DM lets the players take the reins. The DM is there to let the players do cool stuff they want to do, at least for our purposes right now. There are some people who only like the combat, which is fine, that's just not how I like to play, and that's not what we're talking about right now, so we're not even going to get into that. And help tell a cool story, of course. Always a cool story. That's usually the most important thing about D&D. So, why does D&D, why does D&D make you a better storyteller? I don't know that it does, like, through every aspect of storytelling, but I have found my characters have gotten so much better since I've started playing D&D. And that's the great thing about D&D, is you're only focused on one character while you're playing, and so you can get into into their backstory. You're just very in it. So why do I think D&D is great for a writer? Here's the thing. I'm very biased because I love D&D, but it really does help you because you're having to constantly creatively think, and I've found that I've actually gotten quicker at coming up with interesting facets of characters and finding the little nugget of why they're important, why they're doing what they're doing, both in D&D and with my storytelling. Uh, finding personality quirks and, you know, different fun stuff. This is how they relate to the story. D&D is also great because it's very low stakes. If you're in a group of friends playing together, you're, j you're not thinking about, you know, what the inciting incident is or is this pacing right. You're just sitting around telling jokes, eating junk food. Even if you're online, that's just so much fun. Some of my best friends I've actually met playing D&D. I met my girlfriend playing D&D, and this has gotten away from me. Okay, full disclosure, this whole video was an excuse for me to do work and talk about D&D at the same time, because the session that I had on Sunday was incredible, and it's all I've been able to think about, and I'm not going to get to play that, that, that game for at least another three weeks. So, I'm coping. Oh, this is a mess of a video. And I think that is going to do it for today. Um, I'm going to continue to think about D&D all the time because I love it so much and it's fantastic. If you've played it before, what do you think in terms of storytelling? And has it made you better? Or has it changed the way you think of stories? Or just tell me what class you play and what your adventures are like because I want to know. I love talking about D&D, you guys. It's, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I, I told you about to comment already, so do it. My name is Rachel. I'm the Rider on Wheels. I post videos and a blog every Friday. Links to the blog down below. Bye!